this organization will change your life more than anywhere else and these people understand this is family. This, these are the people you are supposed to be with and these are the people you're supposed to share your, your story with. They get it and you don't have to explain or pretend or be anybody other than who you are. It's just an amazing, it's amazing home. opportunity. I lost my friend because I was so sick. And, you know, I remember just having months where if I made it to class, I was good enough. But on the other hand, I also look at who I am as a person now. And I know there's probably some people here who are going to hate me for saying this, but, like, I've told people, well, if I could go back to that day when I was diagnosed and, you know, check yes IBD or check no IBD, I would probably still, out of pure insanity, still check yes. Because for all the shit it took me through, I am a better person now because of it. I have so much more compassion. I'm so much stronger. Everything I've done, I know that I've done it against all odds. When I graduated, I was like, hey, I did that. And instead of like this, I had packing around the neighborhood and Melissa has a shit bag. And um, my mom was over, she went around with the Sharpies and crossed it all out. But like for me to have to deal with that, like 15, 16 years old. It made me so freaking strong that I feel like nothing can get to me now. Like if you have that tagged on walls at 16, nothing can hurt you. I don't know how I got through the shit bag years without this, because if I had this, it probably would have been a lot easier. One of the reasons we're all here this weekend is to show each other compassion and to have compassion shown to us that most people outside of our community don't necessarily have, not because they don't want to, but because it's different. You can't understand it the same way. You know, most of your friends probably don't really get this. Yeah. They, they do not have retreats. <laughs> so there's all of these things that we have that those people just don't have. They can't have. They don't have these friendships with someone who can understand you so purely. So I am going to read something. And if it applies to you, I would like you to take a step forward. If this is the first time at this retreat, take your step forward. Because of IBD, I have canceled plans. <laughs> because of IBD, I have suffered with anxiety. I have lost a friend or a relationship. And because of IBD, I have become a true girl with guts. You are among people who have gone through very similar things, if not the same thing that you have, that a lot of people struggle with all these different you know, conditions, all different kinds of stuff. And that together you can be stronger. And that that's what this weekend is about, is that we're here to lift each other up and to be ourselves. We don't have to explain our illnesses to people here. You can just be yourself. And then, you know, one of the things that I have gained from it um, is I feel like I have become much more detail-oriented person because I feel like everything that we do requires so much planning and forethought. Like, we were talking about last night, like, okay, we're going to go camping. Where are the bathrooms? How far are the bathrooms? Like, um, what am I going to eat? What can I pack that I can eat? I feel like I have an understanding of the bigger picture sometimes because we have to think through all those possible options. We are going to be making kintsuki bowls. Has anyone ever done this before? No. No. All right, awesome. So kintsuki is an ancient Japanese art form where you take different pieces of pottery and you build them together. And basically it resembles that you can be a beautiful piece of pottery, but you can shatter and break, which is something that most of us can probably relate to at some point in our lives. Um, the glue also bonds the pieces together and actually makes them stronger than the bowl was originally. Life is always something, but one thing that has taught me because of my IPD is that I have determination, I have tenacity, I'm independent, I'm strong, and I'm going to finish this no matter what because of everything that I've dealt with. So thank you very much for having me. My name is Nilan Jinnani. Everybody calls me Neil, but I'll just pay you. Um, I'm from Philadelphia, where I've been home for the last 11 years pretty much. But I'm from all over the country. I give you my pile here. 
And this lecture, I've been telling all my colleagues, all my friends, my family, I've been so excited to come for it because it's a big honor. It's a unique type of lecture for me to do. It's about sexuality and intimacy. And this is a very, very important area that doctors and other healthcare professionals don't always address. We are literally fighting our bodies. Our bodies are fighting us. And it feels really good to not really be at war, to accept ourselves, to feel joy being in our bodies. So that's one thing I love about Zumba. A couple years after my diagnosis, I finally got so sick that I couldn't I couldn't physically be up and about and working every day and feel bad asking my parents for money, you know, because I know they're trying to retire and they're trying to save money for that, and I feel bad like taking money away from that just to you know feed myself and, and stuff. But I do have to remember that you know they've stepped up you know and made my support system and you know, said, okay, well, this is what needs to happen, that needs to happen right now. And I've been with Girls With Guts for two years, and it's like, honestly, it's saved my life, because there have been times where I'm like, what's the point, you know? Um, but that's why I'm so involved in Girls With Guts and CCFA, because I'm trying so hard to help with the community to, like, figure out how we're going to deal with this. I think someone said earlier, it's, it's not just a pooping disease, it's like mm -hmm. a mental, emotional... I really liked that. Like yeah. body image, physical, and I'm trying to make people aware that just because we look one way, we're totally dealing with head to toe issues, you know? We can't do this if people don't come to it. <laughs> um, and everybody who comes brings something really special and unique. And each one of you make the weekend important. And so the goal of the weekend is to have you all find that person or those people. We want you to build your own support network, and we hope that it started here. It's just been really wonderful to just watch you guys grow, evolve, work together, um, whatever setback or changes you guys bounce back. And you really do um, put your heart in it. And I really see it every year in this group, and I can really appreciate that. And I'm just glad I get to come back every year and do it. So. Yeah. Cheers to you. Good girls with guts. <laughs>